After helping jumpstart the market for electric cars, Rightspeed CEO Ian Wright now wants to help build electric-powered uh, trucks. And we're talking about not pickups, uh, Ian, but trucks that haul things. We saw the video of uh, that big sort of 18-wheeler rig drifting in, uh, in the desert. There we go. Um, so that's a great video. I loved this when it first hit the Internet. It went viral uh, right away. But what are you using to power that? Is it just electric motors? It's high power electric motors plus a range extender, which is a gas turbine generator. And why a gas turbine generator? I mean, uh, the idea of putting a turbine on a car, it's kind of like, it's a very 60s kind of Batman thing that never really picked up. Yeah. As is this video where it appears that the helicopter is about to land. Uh, back it's pretty awesome. Truck. The helicopter pilot was crazy. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> um, so, yeah, they tried turbines in cars in the 60s, but they tried to drive the wheels with them. And you can't do that because turbines are only efficient at full power. And most of the time, cars run at very low power. So the fuel consumption was horrible. And traction would be pretty, pretty and, difficult and to And control is, is another problem, yes, behind that. Um, but now that we've got high-power batteries and high-power electric motors, then we can drive the vehicle with the electric motors with efficiency right across the range. And then the turbine is just driving a generator keeping the batteries charged and that means we can run the turbine at its most efficient operating point until the batteries full and then shut it down so we don't care that it's not efficient at low so power. So you, you essentially use the turbine as a range extender yes. uh, that we see in for example BMW i3 they use a range extender but this is much more fuel efficient and powerful. Once you can do it then the reasons to use a turbine are it's about a tenth the, the weight for the same power and it's at least ten times better and fuel efficiency. All right, so this all sounds great. How far along is it? How far are we from having this actually rolled out in scale in commercial trucks? So we have uh, a couple of FedEx trucks on the road now for 18 months. We're going to deliver our first garbage truck in a couple of months. Wow. Mm -hmm. Do you have any sense of how much FedEx is saving on fuel? I uh, can't really talk about that, but um, in garbage trucks, we save about $35,000 a year in fuel, wow. about 20000 in maintenance. So we save more than half the fuel and more than half the emissions. Per, uh, per truck? Per truck. So $35,000 a year per truck. Oh, they burn fifty-five dollars to $60,000 a year in, in fuel. Wow. Garbage trucks burn 14,000 gallons. What do you say to people who say actually electric cars aren't so green because nobody knows how to deal with ah. exposing the batteries yet? <laughs> oh, no. So that's no, oh, and, because, and because you need to use mostly coal-powered plants to yes. generate the electricity. Yeah, well, that's true. That's true. And so, in fact, we say that our system is cleaner than an EV because that turbine engine has lower emissions than the average mix of power stations in the U.S. So you'll have lower emissions if you don't plug it in and you burn fuel in the turbine. Right. Depending, obviously, on how you charge your electric car. I mean, if you use solar power to charge it. Oh, well, you could have put that into the grid. So, hmm. Yeah. Um, all right. So, so you're getting uh, actual corporate customers that are using this. Um, where do you want to go with it? Where, where, where do you see the future of... And by the way, the technology is called the fulcrum, right? Which is that's, that's a cool the, name for a turbine, gas turbine. That's the turbine generator, yes. Um, so we plan to dominate the powertrain space in these kind of trucks. So imagine if one of the diesel engine manufacturers came out and said, hey, you know, we've been struggling to get 3%, 5% improvement in fuel efficiency and emissions. We've got a new, new powertrain technology that will give you 60% improvement in fuel efficiency, 60% improvement in emissions, same performance. Wouldn't that change the world? It would, and so, it's very interesting stuff. So uh, thank doing. you so much, Ian, uh, for joining us. Ian Wright there, CEO of Wright Speed. He also designed, by the way, an electric car, I think the fastest electric car in the world. Yes. Right? As Zero to 60 in 2.9 seconds, yes. That's pretty amazing. Wild.